Buzz I done already wrote a forest Different strains of loud singing like it was a chorus I grab my blunts and roll up a bunch like they were oranges Smoking, smoking, super crazy Thanks for rolling up I'm Tubla Marley and this is Certified Pothead Smoking on one of my uh nighttime spliffs You know we about to do Bird Club We about to jump into these um cannabis conspiracy theories which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theory. Tonight's theory involves the Vikings. The Vikings, the only guys who can make a trip to Ikea feel like an epic saga. You know, with all the long boats, pillaging, and questionable decisions, like letting a guy named Thor run the HR department. But what if I told you their secret weapon wasn't just their long-horned battle skills or their collection of pointy helmets? According to some conspiracy theorists, and probably not the folk at your local coffee shop, the Vikings might have been getting high on something other than mead. Yes, I'm talking about cannabis. You heard that right. Those fearsome warriors might have been token up before a raid, and not just because they were trying to ease the stress of keeping their oars in sync. So put down the protein shakes, because this theory is about to take you on a ride more unpredictable than your uncle at a family barbecue after a few too many hot dogs. So put on your walking shoes, Bird Club. We about to stroll down this theory and see where it ends us up at. Let's dive into those berserkers, those legendary Viking warriors who fought with all the grace of a moose on roller skates. They were known for their ferocity, swinging their axes like they were in a heavy metal concert. But what really fueled their wild behavior? Was it magic mushrooms? A case of the hangries or perhaps a long customer service call with the norris version of comcast here's a riddle for you i ride the skies with speed unmatched eight-legged horse never scratched to realms unknown i glide the way who am i leading night and day imagine with me right vikings had a berserker tea mixed with cannabis they'd sip it before battle causing them to rampage through enemies like they were late to their own surprise party they weren't just fighting angry, they were fighting hungry. One minute you're in a Viking's trance, the next you're chopping off limbs, while your battle buddies are trying to figure out who stole the last piece of smoked fish. Y'all know what you're thinking. Cannabis? Really? Viking? I mean, it's not exactly the image we have, right? We picture these guys, muscles ripped, roaring with fury, not sitting cross-legged by some campfire, saying things like, dude, you ever think about how the ocean is just a giant bowl of soup we can't eat? But maybe that's the beauty of history. It's all about perspective. Imagine them in their longboats passing around a Viking vaporizer instead of swords. Two Bahala with good luck. And if you ask me, after a couple of puffs, they'd probably be more inclined to negotiate peace than to raid a village. You know, like, hey, instead of stealing your cows, how about we swap some herbal remedies? If this theory is to be believed, the use of cannabis didn't stop at battle. No, bruh. According to the proponents, cannabis was the secret ingredient in Viking spirituality. Imagine a Viking shaman, draped in furs, sitting cross-legged, about to commune with Odin. Well, first a quick puff from the old Viking pipe. Oh, my dude, what's the deal? I was just chilling, but have you ever tried these mushrooms? No, those mushrooms. I'm talking about the groovy ones. Here's another riddle for you. I am the wolf, ferocious, feared. My things will end what gods have steered. Bound in chains, but not for long. When Ragnarok comes, I'll sing my song. Who am I? Vikings had weed-worshipping rituals. They would burn some herb, enter a spiritual trance, and ask the gods for guidance. Yo, Thor, can you help me find my other sock? It, like, disappeared into the void. So how did historians handle this juicy nugget of information? They buried it deep and deeper than the viking stash of treasure why because gunner smoked half a blunt then raided the fridge doesn't have the same ring to it as viking conquest a tale of glory now why haven't we heard more about a viking weed fest conspiracy theorists will tell you it's because historians and archaeologists are hiding the evidence cue to the dramatic music something like a norse metal band getting ready for a battle with the bands here's another riddle for you I am a hammer, mighty and strong. In my owner's grip, I right the wrong. Forged by dwarfs with power untold. With every strike, 
a thunderbolt unfolds. What am I? Secret Viking Weed Party might have evolved into today's frat societies. The battle cries replaced by loud techno beats and the long boat swap for keg stands. Imagine them throwing wild parties on the seas. Their ships bob into the rhythm of the waves while they raise their mugs chanting to Valhalla and good vibes. Picture this. Archaeologists uncovering a Viking burial site only to find an ancient stash of weed. Well, Seven, come look. It's not just a sword. It's a Viking ball. But of course the archaeologists just shrug it off because no one wants the Vikings' reputation as fierce warriors to... Blah, 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 blah. See, I have to stop talking to y'all. No one wants the Vikings' reputation as fierce warriors tarnished by the idea that they also enjoyed a good puff and pass. So where does this leave us? On one hand, the evidence, or lack thereof, suggests this whole thing is just a puff of smoke. Pun absolutely intended. On the other hand, isn't the beauty of it all the randomness of it? Life is already filled with serious truths. Maybe we need a little myth, a little conspiracy to spice things up. Could it be possible that even the fiercest warriors of old had their moments of mellow? I mean, if I was a Viking and discovered that this herb not only relaxed me, but made me endure the long winters feeling like I'm at a cozy campfire, I'd keep that under wraps too. Who wants their enemy to know their secret weapon is a little high instead of a little might? Here's another riddle for you. I'm half of beauty, half of death, cold below with icy breath. In halls of frost, I rule alone. The underworld is my throne. In conclusion, bruh, what well, idea of violence fighting with cannabis and fuel fury is fun to think about. We should probably leave it where it belongs, right alongside the theories about Elvis and the Aztecs and the Loch Ness Monster. But hey, some one ever finds the ancient Viking strain of Valhalla Haze, Make sure you hit me up so I can hit some of that dank. The answers to the riddle. Sipner, Fernerer, Vajonir. Bro, those is not how you say that. I'm going to see you on the next one, bro.